this is our first meeting for the class. And today we will short a uh, short session for introduction and what are we going to do with this class and some kind of scoring criteria and some some brief introduction of the class. Uh, just like what are we going to do with this class and what what is uh, the why we have to study this this class and yes and what do you, what do you have to 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 do to to complete this course just like the criteria you have to do some kind of assignment project and examination the, the, so i will write down and post it into into the Microsoft team document so you can come back and check this later. OK, first I want to check that we have. 40 students in low on this course. And now how many people? OK, anyway, it's the first time and I, I didn't ask for full attendance, so some please let your friends know that let them come back and check the video later because there will be some agreement, some announcement that students have to complete just like today I will give you one as uh, one as one chart assignment and you have to complete it before before tomorrow class so we can continue on what are we going to going what are we going to discuss and and then what else this class will be normally it will be online, but in some in in uh, okay in some in some day or some some part, I will ask to join on site just like for some kind of project evaluation or some kind of an important uh, uh, some kind of Yes, important topic that I want to I want you to join in the class and I will let you know two or three days before. And I would I, I I check for your schedule. You have free time on morning and just like nine to nine to ten thirty or something like that. And in the afternoon, maybe uh, two thirty to four or or, or three. 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. you are free. And I, I will try to, if if there will be the on-site class that I ask you to join, I will I will let, I know, I will use that that time slot. Okay, and I will announce the, the press, the loom, and the time, maybe two or three days before. And actually it will be on next week, maybe next, next Wednesday. When we talk about uh, the software testing and some kind of important topic that I want, I want students to join and make so, uh, maybe we can join to just know who am I and in detail we just meet, just meet and okay. But for instant interaction, uh, I want that because we can do we cannot do that online. So that is what it's what going to happen in this course. We have normally we will be online, but some some day we will have. Uh, some important topic we will have to on site project submission. We will have a face to face project submission or presentation. Everyone has to join and I will make that as a. As a pair or schedule and let you know that is the thing, that is one thing that I want to announce. And OK, I think. Today is the, the cost name is not uh, the cost name is software construction, testing and maintenance. And um, the lecture contact point, so you can contact me through this email. Or you can use a team chat in Microsoft team. If you have anything, you, if you want to ask me anything related to the course, to the class, you can, you can I recommend that you use a team chat. If we be, I, I think it will be faster to for interaction. And just like if you have some question you want to, you want to ask me and yes, it's I think it's okay to share with in the chat so all your friend can 
can check it later if you have some some question about uh, assignment or the project. So let it, it will be announced to everyone. Or if you prefer some kind of some uh, private, you can you can uh, ask me to the to the chat for the private if you want. It's like if, if you want to ask about your score or your or your how or your assignment or your ask for a comment on your working, it's a, that that will be private and, and you can ask me and you can ask me through the chat on Microsoft team. Okay. Yeah. Now any question? Oh, cool. Okay, sorry. If no question, uh, for this course, uh, no, you don't have to write it down. You have you don't have to note that. I, I will upload this slide into I will upload this slide into the class notebook. And I think you get familiar with the class notebook already, so you can check. You can check it in the content library in the class notebook here. So okay, that is that is oh for this course. It's a sin it's in this uh is a model is really short term and and intense and just intent pace for studying i think the work will be i think the work should be uh should be separated into three part one The one should be, yes, no, nobody in, in every class we have. Uh, The last one should be. This will be. Ten. Fifty. Term project will be. Three part. Uh, and final exam score will be 40. This will be the scoring criteria the, for this course. Project actually, it will be will be three part, but it's not not actually three part, but it's for scoring, just like two main part. Two main paths as a group. And and one part as as individual. So it's mean that you have when you submit the project, you submit as a group. But and you have some some question as an individual. That you have to answer. The project will be submit 
uh, maybe around 26. 26 of fifth, you have. And homework and quiz, uh, I will give you one or two days to complete it. Final exam, you will be you will be allowed to take in two A four two pieces of A four, not page. Okay. If I start the homework, please finish it in one or two days. Some project will be submit allowed to twenty sixth of February, and final exam exactly will be announced maybe next week, within next week, and you will be allowed to bring into pieces of A four paper into the exam room, and the exam will be on site. OK. We have nine students here. At least it's OK. Till now, any question? What do you want? If you want to change something to, related to the score, please let me know. You want to in, increase or reduce the project score or uh, OK. The project. Three part uh, for the project part, we have three three part, two parts as a group and one part as an individual. And the, the details go of the part will be the first part will be 20, the second part will be 25, and the last part as an individual will be five. Okay. But the the work will not be a tons of work, just like just to prove to that to just to prove that you can work and you understand the concept of the cost that is the, the goal. Uh, since normally in some soft, so, uh, in, in the your third year class, you already study software requirements, right? Right? Last semester, you study software requirements. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, together on last semester, you study software design, right? Yes, we have. Yes. And then in this semester, you have to study construction, testing, and maintenance within the class. And that, that, is, a, that is something. Uh, you may have a question that is this, is which one is more important and why 
that's the design important, the requirement important, and testing construction maintenance is important. Why? Why we everything is put in one cost. Uh, which one is more important? Comparing to three causes, requirement, design, and this cost. What is your idea? What is what? Is, what do you think? You want to just give me some answer? Oh. Okay. Sorry, I didn't share my screen. Okay, uh, next time please let me know if I don't share the screen. Uh, this is a contact point. This slide will be, will be uploaded after this course. Uh, this is what are we discussing. We have scoring criteria quiz term project final exam like this. Okay. Three projects. Uh, actually it's one, but we, it will be subparted. So the first two part will be continuous and the last one will be some kind of comment or some 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 uh just like you're working as a team. And then the the last thing is that you make announcement. What is your collaboration? What is your part of work? <sighs> okay. Just claim your work. It's not just you have to do it again. It's just one project. And just explain your contribution to the project. That's all. Any question? And the project will be two continuous project on software construction and software testing. So the, the idea of this course is we have we have a lecture, we have a, a class for place for discussion, and then after the lecture is finished, after we we, go, we continue our course, the project will reflect on how you understand class. And from the project reflection, I will decide what should be the question in the final exam. And and if, and, and then after the final exam, that is, I, I, I want to recheck that what is your claim inside your project that you did that you have contribution in your project that is corresponding with the final exam or not. But that is not the point for scoring, but I just want to check that if you can improve from your reflection, that if, if if in your this individual explanation you didn't get it well, but to after after you finish the project, you understand it and working hard you can do better in the final exam, then it's fine. It's not just for just for I, I just want to look in the last uh, uh, in the uh, sorry, I just want to look in the overall view of what students did and how they contribute and how they how they learn and how they, what is study outcome of of each part of the course. And this is short course, maybe uh, two or three weeks. And intense, and I just make sure that everything is well, well explained, and you understand the concept. Because next to me, uh, next on on your fourth year, you have to start. You have to start the software engineering project course, and yes, the the software testing is one main topic that you need to add it into your project and you need to demonstrate that you understand the testing project. Sorry, you understand the software testing in your project well enough to pass the criteria of the, that the project, the software engineering project. And 
uh, normally student will get struck or they have to leave work on their software engineering project. Since they didn't do a proper software testing. Okay, so, and that is one thing we have, uh, is this class important? Yes, normally in, in next year you have to do software in, in your software engineering project you have to do some kind of requirement design and testing and the other related topic but three main of this will be <clears throat> three important part if you want to complete your senior project or software engineering project next semester on your fourth year so what should be the sequence of topic that we are going to study for this year. For this class, this is second semester of academic year 2022. Oh, sorry, 23. Because now it's 2024, right? Oh, uh, this card will, will not. Uh, we not the sequence of this card. Is not. Played. As the previous course uh, for this course, we are going to start with. Software construction. And software maintenance. Okay. So it means that tomorrow we are going to discuss the software construction first. And then after we finish software construction, we are going to discuss software testing. And then after we do some kind of software testing, we present the project and review. Uh, some kind of discuss with introduction in the software maintenance. Sorry, some typo. Okay. Now, uh, any question? Okay. If no question, if you don't have any question, or you don't, and I will assume that you are okay with this criteria. But for for uh, for those who did student who didn't join, and you, if you watch this video, the recorded video, and you want to make some objection, or you want to ask issue, before that we may change some of this slightly. Uh, it's okay. Please let me know. And please let me know on tomorrow. Within tomorrow. Okay. Any 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 comment after tomorrow? Uh, eighteen, uh, six p.m. tomorrow. I will not welcome. Just let me know if you, if you want to change this criteria. Please let me know before tomorrow eight p.m. Otherwise. Every I will assume that everyone is okay with this criteria. Okay. 
everyone quiet. Anyone here? See something else. Oh, please let me know again, please. I just see one student interact. How about the other? Uh, yes, I'm here. Okay, thanks for responding. No question about this? Uh, Ajahn, I do a quiz. It's in the house, Quiz will be distributed online to the to the Microsoft Teams system. It's a, just a, a normal Microsoft Team quiz that I will distribute it to you, and you have about one or two days to to answer. Oh, okay, Because I I just I, I don't know. If I just want to make a quiz in the class, yeah, I, I prefer that. But but the thing is, now we have less than ten students here. If I do a quiz, some of your friends, some of I don't know whether they are available or not on this time, uh, they will be not able to complete. But but if I want to make some, uh, I think if I want to make some of the On on class quiz, I will I just like if you want to ask the question and I want you to answer within next twenty minutes, I will let you know one day or so mm -hmm. two days before for that kind of quiz. So, and then you have twenty or, two, or thirty minutes to complete it. I, I I will I will let you know one day or two days before that we have the quiz that everyone need to complete within that time. Okay, is that? Okay. This is clear now. Any more? Okay, if no further question, uh, you may ask who am I when just uh, this is again, this is my name. My name is Tajakit Elisata and this is my email. If you prefer to contact me through the email, it's fine. But for the quick response, just uh, in Microsoft Team chat. Uh, I don't know. Uh, some sometimes it's quick enough for Microsoft Team chat, but sometimes it's not. Anyway, just but within within two or three hours, I think it's okay to for for respond within this course through the Microsoft Team chat. And you may ask, what is my expertise if I am, if I am teaching this course? Oh, normally, I teach from first year to the third, through the third year, because normally um, I, I have to make some explanation why this course is so short and modular, because now I'm, I'm, I'm trying to f finish my PhD and I don't have a lot of time left. So that is fine. This is the reason this was is uh, like a short period of time. And 
my expertise. Normally, I, I teach object oriented programming. Um, database. Software design. And the, the, the other class is so, software. Uh, sorry, sorry, component based software development. Just like. Uh, Adan Cha Chai, he's teaching you like uh, this last semester on so component based software development, and you use some kind of Spring Boost framework and related framework. That is, but uh, for, before this, five or six years ago, uh, this component based software, software development divine make it into two sections one for Java and the other one for C sharp and ASP MVC, but actually it's a con to to demonstrate the same the same software concept as a component can be developed to different type of programming language and blah blah blah. And also so also I am I also teach the software design class before, but this uh, last semester I, I don't have any uh, I'm being busy and I just give the call to Dr. Vishaka. Anyway, uh, the thing is that in software testing, I teach, I'm going to teach this course in software testing to make some kind of reflection on what you what you think why is this, why is this important to study software deployment and software design because if you make a good design if you make a good document to create the test is also easier and it's also better testing strategy corresponding to the good requirement and the good design. But if you do the bad design, bad requirement, also you can you can loot out your software testing work, software testing part. And the other thing is that the other point of view is if you have good software design, sorry, good software requirement, good software design, but you don't understand anything about software testing and software construction, your software product may not be as good as you expected from the document of design and and, and requirement. So three of these things must go in together, get along together the quality of quality of requirement, quality of design, quality of construction and testing. If four of these has a good contribution, has a good quality, it means that you can ex expect the good quality piece of software project that you are going to deliver. Okay. And if you listen to me from starting of this conversation, this class, I, I, I not mentioned a lot about software construction, but I, I mainly I mainly uh, I mainly focus point out as a software testing. You may have a question why, and I also have a question why I intend to say a lot of things related in in this uh, in for today. A lot of things related to testing more than something that related to software construction. Do you have any idea why? Does the testing is more important than construction? Okay, no answer. That's fine. Just that we will discuss in after we will discuss in the detail. Well, why are we talking in the detail of what is software construction that we are going to study. What is the meaning of software construction that we are going to study within this course? 
And what is the meaning of software testing that we are going to study with this course that will affect our degree in the software engineering from, from camp. So, Before, okay, before we start, today is for introduction. I want to ask for something. Can you give me, a, what can you, ask, can you explain to me? What is a software requirement? Why we do software, why, why you, what is the conclusion of software requirement that you study from last semester? Bank, not things. Again, uh, type now. What did, what is your? What is it? Your, what is it? Software requirement. What is it? Hello. What do, you, what do you understand about the software requirement? What is it? What do you study within that course? Um, maybe what software should do or have to do? Uh, in the high level point of view, that is okay. If you are just, uh, if you are the other major student, this answer is okay. But if you are a software engineering student, I think you you should provide more detail on what is the what is software requirement. What we do when we do requirement? Any tools? Okay, be more specific on software requirement analysis. What 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 we do? What should be the starting point, and what what is the output? What is the what is the artifact that we get after we make and we do a requirement analysis? What is it, what is the product of requirement process? Come on. Okay, I don't know. Uh, for my conclusion, normally in every process, because if you think about the process, what does this mean? You have some kind of interpretation as a job function. If you think about corresponding to the function, what does this function is? Function need it what? Like this? Okay. If I make, make this explanation, what should be the process 
inside the process, maybe we can. OK, for this topology, we have input, we have process, and we have the output. What should be the input of software requirement? No input? OK, anyway. Uh, the output? Of software requirement analysis, should it be Something like this, right? We create some somewhat. We create use case description. Sorry, we create use case diagram. We create use case description. We create activity diagram. We create some kind of. Anything else? How many data can you study from last semester? I don't know. But what is the final product of the requirement? You, you, normally, you, you should get uh, customer requirement specification and software requirement specification, at least, at least two of these. Right? Hello? Oh, please, uh, please make some response so I, 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 I can expect what should I. Uh, I can please make some response since I have. I need to make. I have to evaluate what, what how many details I have to go through before we can before we start the class. I want to check your background whether what you get from last semester and. What, how I should continue on this course because the requirement and design is, is the pile part of the software project. But the construction and testing is the part that uh, in the second part, in the sec maybe it's saying in, in, in the final part before the software is submitted. So, I just want to share what what you know from the prior. What 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 can, what is your under, understanding of what is customer requirement specification, and what is software requirement specification? What is it? What should be inside that things, those things? Uh, why? Why everyone is quiet? Sure. Okay. Uh, you can if you want to ask or answer some some some. If you, I prefer to to make an interactive in English. Okay.
No answer. Okay. Sorry, what my mic, mean? my mic wasn't working. Okay. Can you, uh, if, you, if you want to give me this one, the answer, please explain. I'm, I'm welcome. I'm waiting and I'm expecting. Can you repeat the question, please? Yes. For requirement, for requirement class, for the software requirement part, for the software requirement analysis, what should be the output? of the requirement analysis process? Um, it should be what the customers want and what should be done in the uh, in the program or the product. That, that is the conversation, but what is the document? The output document, should be customer requirement specification and software uh, yes. requirement specification, right? Yeah, yes, SRS uh, and URS. Yes, and what should be inside that? Mm, what should be inside those document? It should. Uh, it should be how a customer or how a how a user that the person that use our program interacts with our program. Okay, so that's corresponding to customer requirement specification and UI UX design, something like that. Yeah. Yes, or maybe like maybe how the system responds to our uh, interaction with them. Mm -hmm. Maybe some high level, design. high level interaction design. Yes, okay. I mean, and anything else? Mm, no, that's probably what I thought about it. What should be software requirement specification? How is different from the customer requirement specification? Uh, okay, software is like the response of the system that when the user interacts with the sorry sorry uh that when the user interacts with the our program and the the software requirement specification is what the system will respond back to the user yes okay and how about but 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 that is not. If we have to, if we talk about the user and the system, it will be user requirement level. It's not software requirement level. In software requirement specification, we talk about functional requirement and non-functional requirement. What is functional requirement inside a software requirement specification? Is this, it should describe how, what is the function, what is the input, what is the process, and what is the output of the software corresponding to some specific process that related to the software, right? Just like if you have, if you have a calculator software, what is functional requirement? We require function for add, minus, multiply, divide, and equate, right? And yes. that functional is not directly interact with the user. Before we do, we, we, before we expose this kind of function to the user, we have to make some specification of, of what should be the function for adding the number, something like that. Yes. Okay. So requirement. In the customer level, we have a high level, what customer expect, what should be the interactive and blah, blah, blah. But in the function, they have to, the document should be well, well this kind. What is the input and process and output of each sub working function? And we have a lot of function in the so in one software and those function putting together is you answer one of the 
customer requirement. Okay. Maybe we uh, come back about this in about this this question later, but I just want to check what is your understanding before we go into the idea of construction and testing. Okay, and also about what is the output of software design. Software design. We have class diagram, we have sequence diagram, we have architectural design, maybe the ER diagram, maybe uh okay, maybe, maybe four of that process diagrams, something like that. Yes, process, but normally you have uh normally in traditional the output of design, it should be the class diagram and sequence diagram. Ah. Uh. And maybe some people they try to add some kind of the activity or blah, blah, but the design, the design that we're talking about this is object oriented analysis and design. And those kind of output will be class, will be sequence, will be some kind of database, ER diagram, and some kind of, uh, okay, maybe some kind of interface design or the API. But anyway, the API or the class diagram or is some kind of explores group of function, group of object that need to be used after analyze the requirement. Right, am I right? And also talking about design pattern, design pattern is some kind of, the design pattern is, is the principle. It is a, some kind of philosophy, theoretical things. When we talk about, uh, okay, what should be, how many pattern you study last semester? Oh, uh, it's about 20 as a gang of four standard, right? Three key categorization. Talk about, okay, just like, uh, some of the classic and simple is like at the I truly remember UML, that's one of them. <laughs> no, UML is implementation of the it's the implementation, it's the output of the philosophy of the design pattern philosophy. The type of, uh -huh. design pattern is a philosophy to help you solve the problem on object oriented programming things. If you have a class, you have the interface, we have interaction, we have function, you have a class and interface, and some kind of and when we put a class and interface together in the large system, then we can we will have a lot of problem trying to connect it or make it work and as we want. And the design pattern is a philosophy that you should do this and you should do that. So solve or prevent the problem. Just like when you have adapter problem, the the adapter pattern is if you have one interface that existing and you want to export that interface into the other type you get you get adapter to encapsulate that interface and change and define how how that interface can be changed to interact with the new expected interface something like that mm -hmm. but the thing is that the output should be some kind of class diagram or sequence diagram how it's work and Okay, I, I, I guess that's what. Uh, thanks for your interactive. Uh, I, I get that. I get some information that I can. I should process and design how the class should be continued. So, especially when we talk about software testing. And okay, now you have any question? Not yet. Like okay, I need to. Time, I need that's time fine. to think. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I didn't expect you to give me a, a full explanation. Just want to expect some student to interact and some student. If you still still have no idea what to, what is going on, just I just recommend you go back for searching for what you study 
from last semester, leave you with and make yourself ready for this course. OK. The thing is that today I will give you one quiz. Uh, I want you to search for I'm not sure whether question three or two right now. I went, have you ever heard of this word? No, not at all. Not at all. Not anyone, not anyone, not any class, not any lecture mentioned about this sous box. No, maybe they did mention it, but I'm. I pro probably it's a long time ago, maybe. OK, so the quiz today, what is it? I give you this is a short. Uh, abbreviation is a short keyword. Sweebok, what is it? And give me the answer in the quiz. What is Sweebok and what Sweebok uh, what Sweebok encapsulate or what Sweebok contain? What what consists of Sweebok? Oh, okay. I just search it now. So it's it's about the ISO. No. Oh, OK. So yeah, so it's a part of it, the idea in from oh, the other okay. point of view. But OK, this will be your first homework. And I give you uh, please finish it before the, the next class, the, the class tomorrow. But just two or three minutes to search for this one. Just search so you understand what is the full word of this remark. And if you get the, if you search, maybe the wiki. Oh, but okay, you can start using. To not use the wiki, we have some some better explanation from IT e or some kind. A lot of, a lot of documentation, make explanation about Swebo. Not recommend. Okay, better is for IT e Ah, uh, uh -huh. OK. And. Yes, we have. Uh, three about three point zero. We have one, two, three, some something maybe slightly different, but. If you. Want to be software engineer, I think you have should have a creams. You have to have uh, some some uh, cream understand of what is three box. So you can make some visualization of what you have studied so far and and what are you uh what what do you need to do and what do you need to complete and what is the knowledge that you need to get before you can call yourself as software engineering software engineer okay i will assign this quiz and yes uh please let your friends know that i assign the quiz so let them finish it within the as within the deadline and thanks for joining the class i think okay <laughs> and tomorrow will be 9 to 12 if you have a time if you don't have any time just you can watch i will record the video and let you come back and review later tomorrow i will start talking about software construction as a conceptual things conceptual idea and actually, it will be related to your software design part also. We have uh, some reflection. There's uh, some going back and forth between design and construction things. Yes. Uh, for um, is the is it the three box version three? Uh, two or three is okay. But oh, okay. Just just just. To, I'm not going to dive into the detail of Swebox. If you if you see what is it inside the Swebox right now, you see that it's a lot of things. But and and tomorrow I will go into detail of that 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 box that things and what is how is how the Swebox related to our curriculum, our degree, and how it related related to this course and what should be the big projection of what you have to do as a software engineer.
Okay. 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 If you don't have any further question, I think I will stop for today's. I think it's it's okay for starting, and please make sure that. Now we have 40 students in low. Anyone has a problem with something with the name? Your name is not here, or some of your friends just they just drop out. I need it. Just let me know. Okay. Okay. It's 40 students in low now. And if something changed, I just load it for the REG today. And I think not, there should not be something change. Okay, I think I will stop recording and okay, see you tomorrow nine. Okay, uh, I okay. have one, one question. I have one question. Yes. Is it okay for the class for three hours in the morning? You have the other class? Or one or one and a half hour in the morning and one and a half hour in the afternoon? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, we had I'm, okay, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm okay in the morning, but like, for example, in um, Tuesday and Friday, I uh, I have a class at eleven. So I maybe need opinions on other people too because I don't know the schedule. This is only my schedule. Yes, yes. For me, I, after I <laughs> searching for the, the schedule, some of some of you may not be as as a normal schedule. So I just want to check. Okay, if nine to ten thirty, and then. This time, time slot for the day. Everyone is okay with that? So, so it's like a two part for one day, right? Uh, yeah, actually, yes. It, it, uh, I, next week, I prefer two part for, for one day. Yes, actually, I'm I'm okay with this because it doesn't it doesn't conflict with my schedule. I'm okay with this. Maybe, maybe like uh, the professor should start a a vote so maybe uh, some student can. But I, he says I, I I just want to check this because. But anyway, on. Wednesday, if I want to make an on-site for 1, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., this is okay. I'm fine with it, but <laughs> I don't know if others are will be. Okay. I... Okay, for but uh, for tomorrow will be 9 to 12 as an online. Just some introduction and discussion. You will, uh, you don't need to join, but you can. Uh, I recommend that you watch, watch the video later. And then we will, uh, I will ask again, and I will, I will create a tentative schedule for next week, and discuss with you on at the end of the class tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's all. Yes. That's yes. all for today, right? Yes, it's all for today. Oh. For introduction, the first day. Okay. Tomorrow uh, we will start talking about software construction. Okay. Any question? Unknown. Currently. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, have a good day, and see yeah. you tomorrow. Okay. You too. Yep. Bye. Thank you very much. Yes. Welcome. And I will stop recording. And please acknowledge that every class I will record a video and please and and, and, and I will acknowledge at the starting of the video, but the student who join later, just let just acknowledge yourself that you are joined the video that which is recorded. Okay. And 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 you are okay with this. Okay. Stop recording and end the meeting and see you tomorrow.